Alright guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys and explain to you guys what hash tables are. This video is going to split be split into three major parts. So first, we are going to be talking about what hash tables are. Then I'm going to show you guys how they work and how they are the big O complexity one. And then finally, I'm going to show you guys the implementation of hash tables or hash maps in Python. Okay, so this is going to be a great video, so jump right in. Okay, so I pretty much just have this table with all of the Unicode characters and, yeah, ca characters. And I want to explain uh, what hash hashing is and uh, what hash tables are using this. Okay, so the equivalent of hash tables in Python or hash maps in Python are dictionaries. So the dictionary, I'm going to draw this out. Mind my drawing because I'm actually drawing with my cursor. So um, I don't have like some touchpad thing. So I have my dictionary and um, I have some keys and I have some values. So I have my key and some value here. Right. And so I, I said that the, the equivalent of uh, hash maps and hash tables is dictionary. So I just want to kind of show you this. And actually, in our Python implementation, we are going to be creating a dictionary, but we are physically going to like create the alternative of a dictionary. I'll, I'll explain it later. But um, uh, pretty much what we do is when we're when we're giving a a key to this dictionary, I'm just explaining how this dictionary works and how we can get a big O complexity of one with a dictionary, right, or a hash map or a hash table. And pretty much, let's say I enter a key, and let's say this key is hello. Okay, so it's hello. One second. And what we do when we get this, we get the string hello, is we want to convert it into some some sort of number, some sort of thing that we can use, right? So what we actually do is we find the Unicode uh, number for this. How we do this is we split this into the different characters. So we have H, E, L, L, and O. So for H, that's why I have this here, it's 48, right? So we just write 48. For E, it is 45. So we just write 45. I know what happened there. For L, it is 76. So we can just multiply this, 76. And then for O, it is 79. Yeah, really bad hand drawing, but try my best. So we find the sum of this, erase this for now. And whatever that sum is, let's, I mean, it's not, but let's say it's 500, right? Now what we're gonna do is we're going to divide that 500 by the amount of elements that are in that array, okay? Um, Right, so we want you to so basically when we're creating a a dictionary, there there's a certain amount of elements or yeah, a certain amount like max size that the dictionary is, because we need a way to put we need to make a way to make some use of this number, right? So what we actually do is we define a max size, and we can just put like null for all of the elements. And for example, let's say that there's a thousand max size, which probably won't be, but let's say it's a thousand. So, so now what we do is we, we have a thousand nulls. So now, for example, let's say the sum is 500. What we do is we actually find the mode of uh, these two numbers. So we would uh, actually divide this and we would, but by the max size, and then we get that remainder and this would be our this would be what we put into our array right okay so now when we want to actually search this element up in our array all we do is we just so when we ask for a key what we're doing is we're just converting this back into our unicode mode so we just want to you know do the same process we want to uh, split it into our characters, find the Unicode, add the sum, find the mode, and then we go, that mode is where the element is going to be in there, right? So find that mode, we go to that element, and then there's, that's where the value is, okay? 
So um, that's pretty really simple. You, that's really simple. You can kind of see how we get this big old complexity of one, because no matter how many keys and values we have, it's still just going to go to that spot. So if we have a thousand, just go to a thousand. If we have ten, just go to ten. So it's it's roughly just the same amount of time to go to these different uh, keys. Uh, but just keep in mind all these things when we're going to the Python implementation because it's really straightforward as long as you understand the logic behind it. One more thing I want to add, I, it's, I just want to kind of state the obvious, but um, you don't want to uh, make your array uh, or your max size of your array too big um, or too small. So uh, just this might help kind of think of the mode. Uh, when you have a smaller max size, the mode is just going to be smaller. So it, it, they won't throw you any errors. But um, if you are, if your max size is big, right, because you want like just to have space for all your elements, right? One thing about small, you still only have that amount of elements, even though it won't throw you any errors. But the bigger you go, it's just keep in mind, you don't want to waste up too much. Uh, memory in your room, but you just keep those things in mind when we go to the Python implementation now. Okay, so um, here I have this really simple hash map, and I just want to give you a quick demo before we actually start. Okay, so for example, we can just let's create our hash map. So we'll just say h is equal to hash map. I called it hash map here, hash table, same thing. And we actually have to specify our max size. So let's say a thousand, or let's say five hundred, because we used five hundred earlier. So now all I first want to do is I just want to print out this um, hash hash map. Okay, so let's see how it kind of looks. So you can see here it is five hundred uh, elements with none or null. That's the Python equivalent to null. And um, so that's the first step. I kind of talked about that earlier, uh, but just keep that in mind. It's just creating 500 physical with no none. And then we're going to, well, when we have an element that we want to add, we just go to that no, and then we just replace it. Okay, so now let's actually do that. So let's, let's um, actually, uh, or let's actually yeah, add, there's a function here called add. And then we want to, Let's say our key is hello, and our value is world. Okay, so let's run this. And you can see it ran perfectly fine. Fine. And now let's actually print this hash. So yes, and now, oh, you can see right here, we have world here. So you can see we added our value here. So we don't actually store our keys, if you're wondering. Um, it's just a really simple array. Basically, our key is stored as, as our element. So for example, if it was this first element, then we can kind of know what the key is just by converting it, uh, converting the Unicode. So if you want to uh, know how we do that. But um, so now we can actually like get this key. So for example, if you want to say H, dot get hello it should return to us world oh we still have to print that out sorry so we could print this out and then this will return world so you can see it returned world here um now uh let's actually uh so we already got, got stuff. And now let's actually like kind of see the finding hash thing. So let's h dot find hash. And it's using this function to add and get. Find hash, and then let's find the hash for hello. So um self so to print that out. Get right there. And uh, see, we can get, uh, we see we have zero here. So that's why it says zeroth element. So now let's actually, let's play around with this a bit more. So let's add uh, hello one. 
Oh, yeah, and you can see all of this is a set, so we don't have multiple, we don't have duplicates. So, yeah. Um, okay, so, oh, yeah, I put it as get. Uh, hello, one, oh, I still have to add this. So, this was none. I added this to the table, and when it printed out, it's somewhere in here. Somewhere in there. Um, and now let's actually uh, get this. So we have world here, which is the correct uh, thing, because you can see world here. Uh, so now we can actually find hash of hello one. Oh, oh, I see what I did wrong there. Still gotta leave it here because I'm rerunning the function. My bad, guys. So after this, we can find the hash. So that's why it's returning none. And let's actually change this so we can see something different. And then we also can find the hash for this. Okay. And then now we can get this hash. We also can get the other hash, the other key. And then finally, we can print everything out. Okay. So let's run this. Okay, perfect. So you can see first we enter the world one, or sorry, the hello one, and we can get, we can see 49, so you can see changed. And then we have hello, which is zero. And then we have um, world. So it actually seems that I was correct. So I guess the hash for, or actually, yeah, I guess the hash for um, hello is actually, 500 so and then this is 49 and then we have we print worlds and world one so you can see worlds here aka hello and then you can see world one over here so we play around with this now let's get into the code so uh first we have our init function and this just de defines a max we already learned the points of that and then we just creates our array with none for the the amount that we enter as a max so that's pretty simple we kind of saw that in motion for a find hash, all we do is we just loop through all the characters and we add it to our i variable and we add we add the ord, which and this is just a built-in function in Python just that gets the Unicode character. So we just and then we just find that uh, Unicode number and then we just add it to our i and then finally just returns the i of uh, or sorry the mode of i and our max. Uh, for add, all it does is it just, first it finds the hash for uh, the key that we entered, and then all it does is it just adds that, that, um, for that, uh, for that, um, that mode, that, that hash that we just got, it just adds this value to, in that spot in the array. And then when we're getting, we're just finding that hash key, and then we're just going to that spot, and then printing, we just print out the array. So I'll put all this code on GitHub, and I'll share it in the description down below uh, sometime soon. But um, anyway, so that is hash maps and hash tables for you, or actually hash maps, aka hash tables for you. And um, yeah, so that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. Until next time, peace.